Hi YouTube! So today I am here with what I think will be my last um, post stem cell transplant update video for a while, probably for a couple months or more just because this is kind of like the turning point of getting better and also I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> um, I might still have some cancer related things that I post but as far as the stem cell transplant I think this is going to be the last um, video for a long time. So I have reached the 100 day mark in stem cell world. That is huge. That's when your stem cells start really engrafting with your body. Your recovery is supposed to kind of turn a corner. Um, your hair starts growing back if it hasn't already. Obviously mine, thankfully, is a little ahead of the curve. Um, so yesterday I celebrated 100 days post transplant. Today is day 101. And on day 99, which was Thursday, I did have my post-transplant scan. So I want to talk with you about that and then what is coming next for me. Um, so I have my post-transplant scan. Um, there, There's good and there's gray area to come of it. So there was some activity still in my neck, but very little and nothing new and everything in my chest was gone. Um, the activity that showed up in my neck, the doctor is confident that it is just reactive or inflammation. Um, could it be based on many things. The transplant itself, something my body's fighting off, my immune responses to things. Um, but he told me that he does not believe I have persistent Hodgkin's, that it is simply reactive and the radiologist also wrote that on the report so he told me that he believes that i am in remission and wrote in my report that they put in their records that patient is likely in complete remission so definitely like so happy about it at first i was like in shock because i always like just wish it was like you're completely clear by like there's no like asterisk next to anything, but um, the day that happened, I was like totally in shock. But the next day it kind of hit me, I cried and was like, okay, maybe I'm finally like over this stuff. So what's gonna happen next is the doctor said, I don't wanna see you for three months, which is awesome. Um, and especially if, it, if he thought it was Hodgkin's still, three months is a long time to wait. Um, Hodgkin's grows very fast. So he was like, I don't wanna see you for three months. So we're gonna repeat a PET scan, which if you don't know what a PET scan is, it's basically a scan that shows, like it's supposed to show like if there's cancerous things in your body, but it can show like um, like inflammation and stuff like that, like I'm telling you. So another PET scan in three more months and then we'll go from there, hopefully just continuing on um, down the road, getting maintenance, not maintenance, but getting um, monitoring type CT scans. So that is what's going on. Um, this time around, I'm really just taking every day as it comes and trying to you know enjoy life enjoy my daughter she's home with me because of coronavirus um so just being safe you know really just being happy that i'm here and that i'm recovering i still have a long way to go to recover from the transplant there are a lot of residual effects there are you know fatigue um as you can see, chemo brain is really real. I can't really focus on much lately. Um, just a whole host of things that someone at 29 probably shouldn't be dealing with. But like I said, I'm here, I'm alive, and that is most important. And I'm focusing on my recovery and doing things that I like to do, like hanging with my daughter, my mom, my husband, art, um, thrifting, if I you know go to garage sales and stuff. Just kind of keeping it low key, not trying to rush back into normal life because my life isn't normal and it is what it is. And, you know, I'm trying to focus on why I had to go through this journey, what can come out of it, who can I help, and how do I help myself, <laughs> basically. So, like I said on the last video, I'm not eligible for maintenance chemotherapy because I didn't respond to it. So as long as everything stays okay, then I will stay off of treatments and just, you know, mate, like, sorry, monitoring scans. See, I can't, my chemo brain. 
So that is the last I am going to update about this transplant for a long while. I hopefully have no momentous news to tell you about it and I hope that we are on the up and up and moving forward to be healthy. Um, if you're watching this and you are going through stem cell or you think you might or whatever, you can always comment below. I will answer you back. You can message me on Instagram. It's at oh you're so tough. Um, it's a private account, but if you DM me that it's like a cancer related issue, I'll be happy to talk with you about it. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment below, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.